All right, going to install Vader Solutions 3.5 fuel pump. Just gotta get in there, pop the old one out, put the new one in. Well, some stuff here. The Legos. Oh, it's looking for this. Look at this. How did it? That's crazy. And then for this, you're gonna need BMW's uh, original fuel pump removal tool. The part number is right here. Ta da! How much gas do I have? Oh, I'm pretty full. Shit. you turn this sideways. Got the uh, OEM fuel pump out. Really just have to disconnect this one sensor that goes over to the, the uh, fuel regulator side, which is right here. And uh, in goes the Vader Solutions one. So I just talked to Omar, the Vader Solution one, stage three plus is an OEM pump and a uh, Hellcat one. I think, I thought the Hellcat one is a 525, but uh, can't recall right now. But it should be good for a thousand with port injection. So I'm going to not let this fall, get this fucking line out the way. Get this hooked up. And I guess you turn it. There we go. Let's connect this regulator sensor before I miss it. All right, and she goes. Almost. Ah, there you go. All right, I was messing with it for a while and I'm not sure if it's just how mine was uh, seated. Oh my God, look at that. I forgot to put this. Put this on again. Kinda have to put a lot of pressure down. I guess like to bend that little spring area. So let's make sure the O-ring is still there, yep. So I wasn't trying to force it, but there we go. All right, let's get these gas covered rags out. And let's use a big one. There we go. Got that closed up. Uh, hob harness goes here. I guess to control the second pump. Uh, Got to pull this guy out and put the new E85 line. Now the time to go under the car. All right, so trying to route this E85 line. There's no info anywhere online. And all I got is that Omar routed his with uh, out drop in the tank. So that means there is a way, and I was messing with it for a while, I was researching. Obviously no one has any information on F80 dropping of a fuel tank or how to route it or anything. So to my understanding, this is the first real explanation of how to route this. So you pull out your existing supply line that is usually routed here, yank all that out. Once it gets to this point, you kind of just have to disconnect it from the low pressure fuel pump and just yank it because there's no way you're gonna unclip 
any of the clips up there. After you disconnect that stuff, you wanna remove this heat shield here. And with the 90 degree end that goes to your low pressure fuel pump, you wanna shove it right above the drive shaft and the e-brake cable. It goes up and above. After you shove it there, just keep on giving it some slack and pushing it. So you wanna try and get it to this hole here, which is right above this is the low pressure fuel pump. So what I did is push it enough to get here and then stuck my huge hand in here. If you have a smaller hand, it's gonna be a lot easier. Stick your hand in here and just push it straight up like you're going to the back seat. And the further you go, you'll kind of reach a certain stop, but just get enough as high as you can so you can then get it from the top of the low pressure fuel pump. You can stick your hand under and uh, almost grab it. So I'll go and show that. So that little gap underneath is literally right here. So you want to try and shove it as far up and then you'll reach. I already pulled mine just to be safe, but you reach as far in as you can and you'll be able to feel the ventilation line and then the uh, supply line would also be there for that. I also forgot to mention that you're going to want to at least lower the fuel tank. There's a bolt right here and a bolt right here, which hold the uh, straps because that's how you're going to get that extra one inch of uh, of movement. So I routed it from on top of the e-brake and drive shaft. Unless you somehow manage to drop it enough, you have to get over this little rubber grommet here. And I just, I tried, it does not make it. I've pushed it around, it's just not gonna happen. So I'm routing it here under. I have a zip tied to the vent tube and brake lines. Then I have it routed down down and under. I cut some of the plastic here where the existing fuel line goes just to make room to kind of tuck it up and in. Um, I don't want to have it too tight because I don't want some of this plastic that's meant for a much smaller tube to uh, possibly scratch it and eventually cut it. So routed it there, zip tied down, further down here, same thing there on that clip. Then the ethanol sensor. Still want to see if I want to mount that a little more sturdy somewhere and routes up all the way up there to the uh, high pressure fuel pump so you would definitely need your intake manifold off to get to this line so it'll be a little easier to get to once everything's off but you can also tighten it from down here and yeah just have to route the wiring for the ethanol sensor and then uh, all the panels go back on